Let's get some extra practice in predicting uh, the side that's favored at equilibrium uh, using both pKa values and the aereo technique. Uh, certainly it's easy to look up uh, a table of pKa values, whether it's in our textbook, table 3.1, uh, or in another table maybe available on the internet, or in another uh, textbook or academic uh, work. So if we go to table 3.1 and we're asked to take a look at this first equation here and decide which side is favored at equilibrium. Uh, first, we identify the bases that we're going to, to take a look at, and also the acidic hydrogens. There's this H right here, and then, uh, of course, in the product side, there's this H, which I will draw in just to draw our attention to it. That's the H that's added to the anion on the left side. So if we're going to look up pKa units, uh, we could look up the exact pKa value for this alcohol. Uh, it is not in table 3.1, but table 3.1 gives us uh, a good enough estimate. That's approximately 16 if we look at table 3.1 and we look at ethanol. Here for pentane, uh, we can look at table 3.1 right at the bottom, and we have 50. Uh, and so 50 tells us we have a very, very extremely weak acid, uh, which is not prone to giving up hydrogens. It's going to retain the hydrogens, and thus it means that this side is favored at equilibrium. So we should circle uh, the right side. So maybe we can uh, can write that or circle. I'm not going to circle it right now because I want to talk a little bit more about it. Uh, and so again, the larger pKa value will be favored at equilibrium. And here, there's such a huge difference, 34 pKa units, that there's really no equilibrium. We mix these two compounds together on the right side or left side, boom, they go to the, the products, there is no going back. There's such a large difference in pKa. Okay, well let's say we uh, we had um, no access to a pKa table, and we had to use the ARIO, A-R-I-O technique to figure out which side is favored. This is my preferred method because it doesn't involve either looking up data or remembering uh, data. It involves using concepts that we learned to evaluate the situation and uh, and come up with the answer. So let's look at ARIO here. Remember that the first letter is atom. And so we see that there's a carbon right here that's holding the anion. Remember that ARIO helps us evaluate the stability of any anions that are present. And so it doesn't necessarily work if we're comparing an anion to uh, a neutral compound, but in this case we do have two anions, and so we have C or O. And which of those is more stable? The more electronegative element is more stable, so this side is favored at equilibrium. And so again, we have uh, the same conclusion, except that ARIO doesn't necessarily tell us how favored it is. Remember that there was 34 pKa units difference, so it's extremely favored at equilibrium. ARIO just tells us this side is favored, so let's circle the products, and, and that is favored.